The EnviroRoof curb, nicknamed E-Curb by construction workers, was developed from the original lightweight and structurally superior EnviroBeam. The E-Curb was first used on the Boeing Renton project using clips to support the one-piece curb in its early development. The two-piece design using a full-length capture track later became the standard on the Washington Husky Stadium renovation project. The typical method for building roof curbs on metal decking projects is seen in this picture. Bent steel plate is welded to the perimeter steel beams under the metal decking. Corrosive treated two-by wood pieces are then attached to the steel bent plate. Multiple layers of the two-by materials are fastened together until the desired height is achieved to plane out with the roof insulation, often requiring a final layer of dimension plywood. This can total as many as eight steps. All these additional steps lead to huge increases in labor costs. In addition, treated lumber is expensive and requires special fasteners to prevent long-term deterioration. E-roof curbs can also be installed on wood decks with its standard two-piece installation and are a natural for re-roofing projects. The E-curbs don't rot or deteriorate over time. They can be sized to meet typical roof conditions or special conditions, such as cantilevered roof edges. They can be used to reinforce metal decking from the top, eliminating the need for supplemental structural steel support from the underside of the deck. Now, from this picture, you can see that the architect and contractor were able to design built-in gutters using the E-roof curb. Not only did they establish the perimeter roof edge, but they also built in a concealed gutter using two different sizes of E-curbs with a wide gap in between them, creating the gutter trough. Previously, the contractor would have had to weld the steel bent plate in place to define the roof edge, then add two additional pieces of bent plate with wood blocking to form the trough, then add structural steel below the deck to support the bent plate with the wood blocking. The E-roof curbs offer a minimum of R4 per inch of curb height, thereby eliminating heat transfer voids created by the use of wood products on insulated roof areas, an extremely simplified two-piece installation method for any type of roof deck previously discussed, metal or wood. Mount the metal capture track on the roof decking, drop the E-curb into the track and fasten, and the installation is complete. Because the installation of the E-curb is so very simple, the general contractor has many options. He can direct his roofing subcontractor to install the E-curbs. He can direct his metal stud subcontractor to install the E-curbs, or he can self-perform the installation with his own forces. He could even have a discussion with his ironworker subcontractor about installing the E-curbs with the metal decking package. Either roofers or carpenters can install the E-curbs on wood decks. From this picture, you can see that the roofing schedule was vastly shortened and profit increased because the E-roof curb can be easily notched around the welded in-place safety rails, which remain until all roof work is completed. The notched E-curbs in track construction allows the many required subcontractors and inspection work to proceed without the use of safety gear harnesses and lanyards connected to the roof davits. In summary, the E-roof curb offers substantial cost savings in labor. It's lightweight, structurally superior to conventional materials, is a standard two-piece installation, it's not going to rot or deteriorate over time, can be ordered in any required special dimensions, easily cut and or notched in the field, eliminates voids of insulation, can be used on either metal or wood decking, ideal for re-roofing projects, and it increases profit and shortens schedules. Since the E-roof curb was developed from the original EnviroBeam, the E-curb characteristics are also in many of the other EnviroBeam products. All these pre-insulated components can be seen on our website, envirobeam.com.